Okay, we're going to change oil, BMW X3 uh, 2010. I've looked at a lot of stuff on YouTube and it's nothing like what I've got here with my car. So first of all, we see that in the car here, there is this plastic cover on top of it. We're going to have to remove that first of all. Try and do this without being too bumpy on the video. There's a little clips under here. Pop. Pop. And then the whole thing pulls out. Next is to find where your oil filter is. You'll find it over here on the 2010 model. You can see that it's plastic. A lot of people have scratched it trying to get it off without using the right tool. The right tool I'm hoping is this one here. It fits over the top of the plastic cover. This is half the reason most people have to take it to the BMW dealer. I got this for $3.88 out of China. It took five weeks on eBay. So that goes on there, sits tight. Yep, good fit. Next we're just gonna put the socket on there, turn the whole thing anti-clockwise or counter-clockwise. Okay, next that's gonna come out without getting too much oil on everything. Let's have a bit of a look at it. Transfer, nice. Into the bucket. So you can see the paper cartridge, fairly long. And we'll knock that out of there in a minute. Now, I've taken the cartridge out. I'm just going to pop the top back on that so nothing can fall into it. And just take a couple of turns off the top of the oil cap. Then we're going to jack up the car and drop the sump oil at the bottom. Okay, I've jacked the car up behind the passenger wheel gives me just enough room to get under and get under the sump which is just under there back to the engine take that off make sure that's loose so all your oil can run out the oil is actually pretty hot because I drove it back here it's better to I've always done oil while it's hot here's our other oil cap filter without the cartridge in there so I'll put a new cartridge in that, tighten that one back up. So here's the new paper cartridge. Today we're using Castrol Edge Diesel because this is a two litre turbo diesel. We're using 0W40. Recommendations are 5 to 30, but I live in the tropics, so that's what we're sticking in today. Okay, here's the sump oil. Still red hot. Don't drop the uh, sump plug in there if you can help it. Hard to get out. There's a little nut that comes with the filter, or sorry, a little washer. So the old one's in the old oil, I've just slid the new one on. So that goes back up in the sump, 17 mil. I have put <coughs> the cartridge in the oil filter. I've also replaced the O-ring that was in the cartridge filter bag. The uh, rubber O-ring for that one. And that's done back up nice and tight. Cast back down, jack's removed. So we're good now to undo this one here. No oil in there, so don't start the engine. And top it back up. I've got five litres of the castor I've put in. Okay, so I've got about four and a half litres in there. If you haven't worked this out yet, you shouldn't be doing this, but uh, that's your dipstick. Pull that out, check your oil, um, and top it up right where it says max. Don't overfill it. Turn the car on, let it turn it off again. Check it again. Well, it's taken the whole five litres, so we see here, I'll put the cap back on. Turn the car over and check your levels again on your fluids. Safe driving. <laughs> 